Hello everyone, in this video we are just going to learn some important techniques for setting a particular bit in a register without disturbing other bits and also clearing a bit in a register without disturbing other bits in embedded applications. Let's get started. So these are very very important techniques that we often use in embedded applications for setting a particular bit in a register and also for clearing a particular bit without disturbing rest of the bits in the register. So this is very very important. In previous one of our videos we just wrote this program I hope you remember that we just declared several registers of the microcontroller stm 32 f 46 re and then we wrote the program for blinking the LED. So after learning this technique we are just going to implement what we learned from that techniques right over here in this program. So we are just going to apply what we are going to learn now for setting and clearing a bits in the register without disturbing the rest of the bits in the register to the same program that we have written right over here. That is the LED blink program of STM32F446RE with the help of raw addresses and pointers. So I hope you remember this program. We are just going to alter this program without the actual hexadecimal values provided right over here. So let me just open the presentation. So we already learned the different kinds of operators in C language in a separate videos. I hope you remember that. And in one particular video, we just discussed about bitwise operators. So we are just going to use only the bitwise operators and some of the logical operators for achieving this purpose. So you can clearly see on the screen the method for setting a bit in a 32 bit register. This is common for all the register sizes irrespective of the sizes the method is common. If it is 32 bit, 16 bit or 8 bit register you can apply this methodology for setting a particular bit in a register without disturbing rest of the bits. So register name is equal to register R of 1 left shifted by bit number. So here in this statement, the bit number defines the bit that you want to set in a particular 32 bit or 16 bit or 8 bit register. If it is a 8 bit register, you will be having only bits from 0 to 7. If it is a 16 bit register, you will be having values between bit numbers between 0 to 15. If it is a 32 bit register, you will be having bit numbers between 0 to 31. So this is the only difference. And in place of reg that is the reg on the screen you can provide the pointer variable or definition of the register as per your program. So let's see an example for understanding this. You can see on the screen an example gpio port data is equal to gpio port data r of 1 left shifted by 3 times. So this will set the bit number 3 in the register without disturbing other bits in the GPIO port data register. So assume GPIO port data is a register in the microcontroller and if I want to set the bit number 3 in the register that is 0, 1, 2, 3. So the third bit position in the register I just want to write like GPIO port data is equal to GPIO port data R of 1 left shifted by 3 times. So assume that this is a 16 bit register GPIO port data. So assume that the GPIO port data is a 32 bit register and initially all the values in the register are 0. So every binary bit is 0. You can clearly see there are 32 bits right over here. You can see there are 32 bits right over here. This is bit number 0 and this one right over here. This is the last bit which is the bit number 31. So 1 left shifted by 3 means this one that is 1 left shifted by 3 means starting from bit number 0 you just want to left shift the value 1 or bit 1. So when I left shift the bit number 1 from bit 0 1 2 3. I will get the 1 in this position respectively, right? So this is the value of 1 left shifted by 3 for a 32-bit register. So if it is a 16-bit register, you will not be having 
these four values if it is a 8 bit register you will not be having all these values you will be having only these 8 bits separately that's it this is the main difference if you are using a 32 bit 16 bit or 8 bit other than that nothing is different So when I perform GPIO port data R of 1 left shifted by 3, you can clearly see 0 R of 0 is 0, 0 R of 0 is again 0, 0 R of 0 is 0 and 0 R of 1 is 1 right over here. And other than that, we are having all the values right over here to be 0. Here also everything is 0. We very well know our table will be holding value 1 if any one of the inputs is 1. So here nothing is 1. You can clearly see in the top also we are having all the values to be 0. And in the bottom also we are having every value to be 0. So here we will be having 0 everywhere. So this will be my result. You can clearly see from the result right over here. The bit number 3 in the register is set without disturbing any other bits. Initially also you can clearly see all the other bits except 3 is having the value 0. At the end in the result also you can clearly see only the bit number 3 is set and all the other bits are undisturbed. So in this manner you can use this technique for setting a particular bit in the register without disturbing other bits. So in a similar manner you can add like this R of 1 left shifted by 3, R of 1 left shifted by 2 and it goes on like this. You can add as much as bits as you want as per your requirement like this for setting numerous bits in your register in a single statement. So you can use this clear technique of R of 1 left shifted by bit number for setting a particular bit in a register. So as a result, you can clearly see from this R operation done between the data register and the 1 left shifted by 3, all the bits available in this 1 left shifted by 3 is 0 except the bit number 3. So 0 R of 0 will provide me 0 and 1 R of 0 will also provide me 1. So Oring anything with 0 will provide me the same result. So that is why rest all the bits in 1 left shifted by 3 is having the value 0. So I will get whatever value that is available right over here except the bit number 3 position in the data register as it is in the result. But here in this position bit number 3 you can clearly see I am having 1 as the value in 1 left shifted by 3. So even when I am having the value 0 right over here in the bit position 3 in the register GPIO port data I will get 1 as the result of the expression. If I am having the value 1, 1 or of 1 I will get 1. If I am having the value 0 as it is available now, I will have the value 1 as the result. So even the value is 0 or 1, this bit number 3 will be set and all the other bits will be remaining in the same bit values. So any value 0 or 1, R of 0 will provide me the same result. So this is the concept of this expression. Register is equal to register R of 1 left shifted by bit number and you can clearly see this is the technique for clearing a particular bit in a register without disturbing rest of the bits in the register. Register is equal to register ambition of negation of 1 left shifted by bit number. So let's take the same register that is GPIO port data. GPIO port data is equal to GPIO port data ampersand of negation of 1 left shifted by 3. So this particular example statement will clear the bit number 3 
irrespective of the bit position if it is 1 or 0 it will make the bit number 3 in the register to be 0 so this is the purpose of this line so let's understand step by step about this statement so let's assume that initially this GPIO port data is having all the values to be 0 and 1 left shifted by 3 as we mentioned is having the value of this one we very well know 1 left shifted by 3 is nothing but 1 2 3 so the 1 will be in the position of number 3 of the register and when I write negation of 1 left shifted by 3 all the bits 0 in 1 left shifted by 3 will become 1 and all the bits 1 will become 0 in that statement so you can clearly see this statement 1 left shifted by 3 will become like this all the zeros will become ones and ones will become zeros so that is negation so when you perform ambition of gpio port data with negation of 1 left shifted by 3 what happens here is you can clearly see anything ambition of 1 will provide me the same result 0 ambition of 1 is 0 1 ambition of 1 is 1 so anything ambition of 1 will provide me the same result so you can clearly see all the values except the bit number 3 in this statement is having the value 1 so all the bits in the respective positions except bit number 3 will be providing us the same result but at the bit number 3 we are having the value 0 so whatever the value that is available right over here if it is 1 or 0 when you are performing and operation of that value with 0 you will get the result to be 0 so this is how this statement will help us to clear the particular bit with the help of this sequence so this works on and operation and setting operation works on or operation so this is the major difference and also you can go on like this by writing number of bits that you want to clear that is gpo port data is equal to gpo port data ambition of negation of one left shifted by three ambition of negation of one left shifted by two so it goes on like this you can write as much as bits that you want to clear in a register at a time in a particular sequence so now let us try to rewrite this program with the help of the technique that we found so the technique that we found is for setting a bit register is equal to register r of 1 left shifted by bit number you want to set clearing a register register is equal to register ambition of negation of 1 left shifted by bit number so these are the two techniques that we learnt so coming to the first and foremost thing the first register that we configured is RCC CR in this register we just set at the bit number 0 so let me just comment this and let me just turn on the bit number 0 in RCC CR register so I can write here the register name is rcc cr pointer so rcc cr r of 1 left shifted by 0 and as the next step you can clearly see we are we have configured the ahb1 enr for enabling the clock of gpio a by setting bit number 0 again so the same process i am just going to do for this register
here in this mode or register i have set the bit number 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 bit number 10 has been set and all the other bits are made 0 so only the bit number 10 is set so i can write like gpio mode r is equal to gpio mode r r of 1 let's shift it by 10 and in the gpio type r we are making everything to be zero so i'm just leaving this i'm not going to alter this and in the speed r also i'm not going to change anything because everything is made zero and coming to the odr we are just setting the bit number 0 1 2 3 4 5 bit number 5 right over here in this line so when i write gpio odr is equal to gpio odr r of 1 left shifted by 5 and here in this case i am just clearing the same bit right so for here i can perform the clearing operation for clearing the bit number 5 so as per our sequence gpio a odr is equal to gpio odr ambition of 1 let's shift by 5 So this is how you can follow this technique for turning on or for setting a particular bit in a register of the microcontroller and also for clearing a particular bit in a register of a microcontroller without disturbing rest of the bits in the register of the microcontroller. So from here on you can use this technique. I hope you learned. If you have any queries you can just comment back in this lecture. I will clarify that or you can write a mail to me at smtrainingacademy at gmail.com. I'm just compiling this. You can see I'm getting zero errors and zero warnings. So this program also works in the same way. That is, blinking operation will be performed in the PF5 onboard LED of Nucleo F446RE development board. So I hope you learned the basic technique for setting a particular bit in a register and also for clearing a particular bit in a register of a microcontroller without disturbing the rest of the bits available in the register of the microcontroller even if it is 32 bit 16 bit or 8 bit register the method is same you can use the same methodology without even any change you can use the same methodology for altering the bit status of any register even if it is a 32 bit 16 bit or 8 bit register in a microcontroller i hope you learned something new in this video see you in the next video thanks for watching